G'day and welcome back. Today we're we'll going to be talking about color boost and saturation, how each of them work, and how you would use each of them in a real world situation. So we have a basic grade going on. I have some color management, um, nothing too exciting, just some contrast. For some reason, a lot of curves. I don't know what I was doing. So we have a saturation node down here. So what I'm basically going to do is turn it on, and my saturation is going to live around here. And that goes the same as the color boost node. So we're basically trying to hit the same amount of saturation and boost to sort of get an equal footing. Now I've added a lot more saturation and boost than I normally would, but that is to get over YouTube's compression and also to really highlight how each of these tools affect your image. So let's just get rid of the scope for now and let's turn our saturation node on. So as you can see, we have a pretty saturated image. When I say pretty, we have a very saturated image. So the way saturation works is it saturates everything equally. So it doesn't matter the value of each color, it adds saturation into the color in a uniform way. So now let's go to our color boost and have a look at that. And as you can see, this is our color boost and it looks a lot different to our saturation. So the way color boost works is it saturates the lowest saturated areas first or the most desaturated areas first. So it doesn't work in an equal way. So what I mean by that is if you look at our saturation node here, look at the greens in the background and the red on his skin. And then we go to our boost mode. Now you look at the greens here and the red is basically the same as the saturation node. And that is because in the greens, in our saturation node, they are the least most saturated part. So when we're using boost, again, back to our boost node, so we're adding saturation into the areas that have the least amount of saturation in them. If we bring up our vector scope, we'll do a real world situation here using boost. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our saturation node. So if we look at our saturation node here, as we can see, make this a little bit bigger. As we can see, our red is going above the legal limit. So we could either take our saturation out a little bit, but then we're desaturating everything else. So let's undo that by pressing Control Z. Now, if I wanted to just take the most saturated part out of this image, which looks to be the red here, all I would do is come down to the boost and instead of going right, which adds more color in, of course, we would go to the left and that would desaturate those areas that are the most saturated. So bring it back even more. So as you can see, we've desaturated the areas that were the most saturated in our image. Now, of course, with the boost, we could just basically do the same thing. We bring up our vector scope and we're not actually over the legal limit, which is the interesting thing about color boost is that it's really boosting up those desaturated areas. So it's actually easier to stay inside the color limit, but you're getting a more saturated areas in the areas that were the most desaturated in your image. So basically you're getting a more saturated image all over than you would be if you were using the saturation effect. Let's look at our saturation node. And this is basically just inside the legal limit. It's actually a little bit over. And if we go to our boost node, we are actually inside the legal limit and look how much more saturation we have in our node. Now the question is, do I use boost or do I use saturation? In most cases, you will actually use saturation. You won't use boost that much because this image here to me looks far too saturated. But if you're going for maybe some sort of really stylized commercial, a lot of saturation, then color boost would be something you would look at. But if you're going for more a short film, documentary type of thing, then you would probably just add saturation instead of using the boost tool. So I hope that is a good answer for boost versus saturation. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'm more than happy to answer. And thanks for watching.